Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bhavamik Joshi from Aspar MDS and in this video we will discuss pitch, roll and yo which are actually aerodynamic terminology which was introduced to dentistry by Ackerman in 2007 to classify the malocclusion. Now this terms they are talking about the kind of maneuvers or rotations that this aircraft will make while flying and Ackerman has compared this kind of rotations with the rotations of jaw or dentition. Okay, now let's see them one by one. First is pitch. Pitch is talking about the rotation of the aircraft around the axis which is passing from one wing to other wing. Now, if the aircraft is going to rotate around this axis, obviously we know that it will move in such a way that the nose of the aircraft is going to move up and down same kind of movement that is pitch you can see in the skull this you can see when you are seeing the skull in the sagittal view okay when you are seeing it from side in that case if any of the jaw either maxilla or mandible if it is rotated clockwise or counterclockwise you can call it as pitch okay this can also be achieved during the orthognathic surgery that is rotation of a particular jaw achieved using the orthognathic surgery right and when we are talking about just the dentition not the jaw in that case the pitch means upward or downward rotation of the dentition how is it let's see with this example let's say this are the teeth and this is the lip which is covering the teeth now in this first example you can see when the patient is smiling you are not able to see the maxillary teeth itself Reason, reason is because there is pitch of the anterior teeth which are rotated downwards. So because of this, the upper teeth are covered fully by the lower lip and they are almost not visible. Right? Now in the next example what we can see is there is very gummy smile. The reason behind this, there are two reasons. First is that there is almost downward transition of the maxillary dentition that is there in addition to that if you see closely there is also downward pitch posteriorly so because of this this kind of smile is seen okay so based on this you can say that here there is pitch present okay next term is roll the roll is talking about the kind of rotation which is around the longitudinal axis which is going from front to back now if it is if the rotation is going to take place around this we can see that the rotation will be in this manner from side to side now this kind of rotation if we want to see in our dentition or in the skull we have to see from the front side the previous one pitch we saw was in sagittal direction here we are seeing it from the frontal side from frontal side if we want to see rotation this is how the rotation will appear that is the frontal plane showing the presence of occlusion whether it is canted or not let's see this with this example if you are seeing a person from the front and this are the teeth okay now in the roll this kind of rotation can be seen the dentition can be either tilted or rotated toward one side or another side and the line of occlusion will be tilted or you can say occlusal plane is tilted in this case now if you see in this first example there is also tilting of occlusal plane okay when you want to compare this role in the soft tissue that is to evaluate the role relative to soft tissue we have to compare it with the intercommissure line but if you want to compare it with the facial skeleton we have to compare it with the interocular line right in the first example you can see there is tilted occlusion right same way in the second example also it is there so this kind of change in the occlusal plane you can check with help of this fox plane you can ask patient to put the fox plane like this and you can see that it is not parallel to the interpupillary line okay the next kind of rotation that we are going to see is yaw yaw is the kind of rotation that will take place around the vertical axis so because of this the nose 
of the plane is going to move either right or left direction. This you can see when you are seeing it from the top. In our clinical direction, we can call it as seeing in the axial view. So in that case, you can see either right or left rotation of the nose of the aeroplane. Same thing if we see in our skull, if you are seeing the maxilla, let's say the maxilla is having yaw, that is having rotation on either right or left side. In that case, what we can notice is that if this happens, the midline of the dentition is going to get shifted. So here also you can see on yaw, the midline gets shifted. In the first example, we can see that the midline, if you see midline like this, the dentition midline is shifted towards patient's left side. Okay, there is somewhat yaw of mandible as well. Whereas in the right direction, what we can see is that if this is the midline, the maxillary dentition is shifted towards patient's right side. Okay, this kind of rotation is known as yaw. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sure you liked it. With Aspire MDS online course, you can get full syllabus of the video lectures. Along with that, you get notes, daily topic wise and weekly subject wise online tests, as well as daily online discussion. You'll also be member of our online forum where all your doubts regarding MDS preparation will be solved. If you want to join, you can contact on the WhatsApp on the below given numbers. Or you can let us know in the comment section. We'll get back to you there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And once you have subscribed, make sure to click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a video.